Hey guys, Lou Marrera here. Coming at you guys with some new footage here, post my bobsledding uh, career. Everything I did from the moment I woke up to the moment I fell asleep was work on that dream and making it come true. And for it not to happen is, is heartbreaking. And, and then, you know, now what? What do you do now? Uh, today we're at the gym. I had a long day at work, and uh, if you ask me what I'm doing in the gym, I don't know. I've had a program for three years, and uh, I have no plan. So we're just gonna go in there and uh, let the wind blow us. Bl bl let the wind blow me. We're... Wait, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go in there and just go w with the wind. Before I got into bobsledding, I was bodybuilding. I had just gotten out of the army. I was going to school using the GI Bill, and I was bodybuilding full time. In 2014, I won a show, uh, crowned Mr. Texas that year, which was a really cool accomplishment. It's fun to say I'm Mr. Texas. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when people ask me what's next, are you going to bodybuild again? I, that's a common question, and no, I'm not going to bodybuild again. <clears throat> it's a common place to rest between sets. I'm used to wrestling, you know, five minutes, but uh, we're going to go a little quicker today. I think this is the heaviest I'm gonna go, 275, and I'm gonna do like three sets of three with like 90 seconds rest, tops. And get, get it going a little bit. But it's, we'll see how 275 feels, because that's normally very light for me. I have a slight injury I'm dealing with, and I don't know why, because I haven't been training you know, with intensity. Started to move around again and my knee got inflamed. But I think it's because being on the team, on Team USA, you get so spoiled with the uh, sports medicine treatment. We have masseuses, we have chiropractors, we have physical therapists and athletic trainers always on call. At, literally at the ring of a bell, you just make an appointment, anything you want from, you know, getting drastic done, needling done, um, any, kind of, any kind of muscle work. And I think that I, my body got so used to the better part of three years getting treatment like that, that the moment I started training without it, my body reacted. And, and, you know. I've been doing like five reps, three reps, two reps for years. I think I did like nine or 10, and that's super high rep for me. I feel the burn, yeah. You know, this is just what I think. I think I got a couple inflamed ligaments in the back of my knee here. And I wish I could get an MRI, but I just can't. I don't have um, medical insurance right now. I mean, I have the VA, but <laughs> good luck. <laughs> hey, can I get an MRI? <laughs> Three years. Oh, whatever, but it would, it's just the process with the VA. And um, I can, by the time that I get an appointment, my knee will heal itself with enough bags of ice, so. One more, just to never be negative. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, once the Olympics started, for those three weeks, no matter how much I tried, I couldn't get away from it. Um, yeah, so for three years I was on the team and, uh, you know, for three years all you do is think about that one, one moment, that one goal. It's not about, there's no second chance here, you know, and, and for, to, for me not to make it just completely just broke my heart, shattered my world. And, and I just went off the grid for the better part of two months. The only people I really spoke to were my family. Um, watching the games is really difficult watching my friends um, there's so much I could say but I'd rather just stay positive and you know build from that not making the Olympics was all I wanted it's all I thought about I became completely obsessed 
I don't have much work capacity in me. You know, I'm not, I don't have that endurance. So why am I doing this? I don't know. I think I like the pain. Like subconsciously, I, it's curing me in a way. It feels good to hurt like that a little bit. I thought it sounds kind of twisted, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what I want, where I'm gonna go next. Um, my plan is just to get on some kind of training program and uh, enjoy training. And because training is, is the ultimate therapy, it really is. And medicine and doctors, sure, blah, blah. But for me, um, getting in, just putting in work and sweating. And eventually over the next few weeks, I think I, think I can get an idea of what I want to do. And um, you guys will be right here to find out. <laughs>